Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. <clears throat> Hope all is well. We're going to bring you some action PC Baseball 2022. We continue our first look with gameplay with our best of nine series between the Red Sox and the Yankees. This was a community created league for the action PC games. The players come from a pool of players from 1960 to 1979. The Yankees lead the series four games to two. Again, best of nine. Yankees won the first four games, while the Red Sox have won the last two. <coughs> Yankees took the first two games in the Bronx, 6-3, 8-1. Gossage and Stottlemyre were the winners for the Yankees. Gossage out of the pen in game one. Lee and Eckersley the losers. White and Shambliss, players of the game. We traveled back to Fenway. Red Sox blew a lead in Game 3. They would lose 12-9. Ron Davis got the win for the Yankees out of the pen. Bill Soup Campbell the loss for the Red Sox. Roy White, once again, player of the game. Game 4, another Yankee victory in Fenway. 6-3 over Boston. Ralph Terry the win. Louis Tiant the loss. Once again, Roy White, player of the game. <laughs> The Red Sox need to win to stay in. As we went to Game 5, Red Sox won in a slugfest, 10-6. Bill Lee got the win, Whitey Ford the loss. Munson for the Yankees in a losing effort, player of the game. Red Sox again, Game 6, they had to win to stay in. They held on to win 9-5 as the Yankees played at 5 runs in the bottom of the ninth. Lawnbor got the win. Mel Stoudemire took the loss for New York. <clears throat> Cecil Cooper was the player of the game for Boston. Now we move to Game 7 in this best of nine. And again, the Red Sox must win to stay in. Starting lineups, this game's being played at Fenway. For the visiting New York Yankees, who lead the best of nine series, four games to two, Randolph is at second. Roy White is in left, batting third in center field, Mickey Mantle. Roger Maris is in right, he's the cleanup hitter. Reggie Jackson, the DH. Batting sixth at third base, Greg Nettles. Munson does the catching and will bat seventh. Shambliss is at first, Kubek at short, bats ninth. And Ed Figueroa, who got hammered in his start, though he did not take the loss, will be doing the pitching to try to close out the series for the Yankees. For the hometown Red Sox, our beloved Boston Red Sox, Cecil Cooper at first, Mike Andrews at second. Ted Williams is the DH, and he'll bat third. The cleanup hitter, Jim Rice, is in right field. Carl Yastrzemski in left field. Reggie Smith will bat sixth and play center field. Carlton Fisk behind the plate bats seventh. Frank Malzone at third. Rico Petroselli bats ninth and plays shortstop. Bob Stanley, a lot of weight on the shoulders of Bob Stanley. Uncle Ron Juckett's favorite Boston Red Sox of all time, I say. A bit with a wink and a smile. Is on the bump. Bob Stanley has a seven defensive range on the mound. Carlton Fisk, 7 range, 9 arm behind the plate. Frank Malzone's a 7 range at 3rd. Petroselli is 7 at short. Mike Andrews a 5 at 2nd. Cecil Cooper is a 6 at 1st. Collier Yastrzemski, 9 range, I'm sorry, 10 range, 9 arm in left. He struggled at the plate, though. Reggie Smith. Eight range, seven arm in center, as Freddie Lynn has been horrible in this series. And Jim Rice is in right. Four range, seven arm. Here comes Willie Randolph, batting 182 for New York with two ribbies. Excellent bunter. Corners will play in. So Malzone in at third, Cooper in at first. Here's the pitch to Willie Randolph. Grounder. 
Cooper has it, takes it to the bag himself, one down. We chose Bob Stanley because he's a ground ball pitcher, and we want to keep the ball in the ballpark here at Fenway. Here's Roy White batting 391, two homers, five ribbies. The pitch to White. Fly ball right field. Rice coming in. It's over his head, and it's a double. Oh, Rice started to come in and then quickly went back, but it was off the wall. He wouldn't have caught it anyway. Roy White continues to swing a hot stick. He stands at second with one out. Mickey Mantle steps to the plate, 389 with a ribby. Roger Maris on deck. The pitch to the Mick from Bob Stanley. And Stanley walks Mantle. One out, two on for Roger Maris. 389, a bippity boppity boom and four ribbies. Double play gets the Red Sox out of this mess. Stanley looks in at Fisk. He's ready to work. He deals to Roger Maris. Line shot to right. Rice makes the catch. They throw back, and Mantle just gets back in time. They almost doubled up Mickey at first. So two outs, two on. Runners will be off on contact. White at second, Mantle at first. And here's Reggie Jackson, 252 homers, five ribbies. <clears throat> on deck, Greg Nettles. Stanley to the left-hand batting Jackson with two outs. Base hit down the right field line. Rice has it. Will they wave White? They will. Rice throws in to second. one nothing New York. Mantle stopped at second. So two outs, two on for Greg Nettles. 267 and two ribbies. Stanley takes a deep breath. Fisk sets the target. The pitch to Greg Nettles, the Yankee third baseman. Base hit to center. Reggie Smith puts a charge on it. Mantle hits third. We're going to throw to the plate. And Fizz, Mantle is out, and the side is retired. What a throw by Reggie Smith. Carlton Fisk applies the tag. The Yankees do no more damage, but they do get one on the Jackson single. one nothing New York. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's watch that replay. What a throw by Reggie Smith. Put a good charge on the ball. Didn't hesitate. Fired a strike to Fisk, who tagged out Mantle. 1-0 New York, bottom of the first. Cooper, Andrews, Ted Williams to face Ed Figueroa. Figueroa, no decision in, in his first outing. He was hammered, went three innings, and gave up a plethora of runs. His ERA, 24. But he has an opportunity to close out the best of nine series as the Yankees lead four games to two. They took the first four games. The Red Sox have taken the last two. Cecil Cooper, player of the game for game six, was four for four, two homers and a bunch of ribbies. Overall, 455, three homers and five ribbies. Behind the plate, Munson is an eight defensive range, seven arm. Figueroa is a six on the mound. Nettles, a 10 range at third. Kubek, an eight range at short. Randolph is an 8 at 2nd, and Shambliss an 8 at 1st. Excellent defensive range in the infield for the Yankees. Roy White, 10 range, 3 arm. You can run on White's arm in left. Mickey Mantle, 6 range, 7 arm in center. And Roger Maris, the other half of the m, &M boys, in right, 8 range, 7 arm. Cooper's ready. He awaits the Figueroa offering. Andrews on deck. Here's the pitch to Cecil Cooper. Fly ball, shallow left. White makes the catch. One down. Cooper made a bid the other way for a hit. Mike Andrews, 250 with a ribby. Right hand batting second baseman. Ted Williams on deck. He's going to take. Figueroa pours it in. And there's a strike. 0 1 count. Andrews steps back in the box. Here's the pitch from Figueroa. Andrews base hit right center field. That's going to get to the wall as Andrews has a one-out double. That ball split Mantle and Maris in right center. Here's Teddy ball game. Ted Williams, 385, a homer and five ribbies, trying to tie the game up for Boston. Rice on deck. Will they walk Williams to set up the double play? 
Munson goes through the signs. Figueroa is ready to work. The pitch to Ted Williams. Chopper to second. Randolph to Chambliss. Two down. Andrews advances to third. It'll be up to Jim Ed Rice batting 308 and five ribbies. No homers. If Rice goes yard, the Red Sox have a 2-1 lead. Here's the pitch to Jim Ed Rice. Base hit. Center field. Andrews scores. It's a 1-1 ball game. So the Red Sox come right back and tie it up. Two outs for Car Carl Yastrzemski. Number eight has struggled mightily at the plate. Stellar defense in left, though. 188, a homer and a ribby. The pitch to Yaz. Rice will be off on contact. Yastrzemski works a walk. Rice goes to second. Two outs, two on. 1-1 one, one ball game, bottom of the first. Reggie Smith, 222 with two ribbies. Here's the pitch from Figueroa to Smith. Fly ball, shallow left. White makes the catch. Side is retired. Red Sox tie it. We go to the top of the second, 1-1. One, one. Due up for the Yankees. Munson, Shambliss, and Kubek, the bottom third of this Yankee order. They'll face Bob Stanley. Stanley gave up one run in the top of the first. Munson batting 500 with four ribbies and a homer. The pitch to the Yankee catcher from Stanley Steen. Munson chops it towards second. Andrews charges, throws to Cooper, one down. Chris Shambliss, 308, a homer and four ribbies. Left-handed stick. Stanley nods his head. Fisk sets the target. The pitch inbound to Chris Shambliss. Grounder to third. Malzone strong throw to Cooper, two away. Stanley's doing a good job keeping the ball down and having the Yankees beat it into the ground. Gray Johnson, how you doing? Hope all is well. It's a fun game, action PC baseball. Tony Kubek, who drew the ire of Billy Martin in Game 7, as he forewent a pretty sure double play ball through to the plate, didn't get the runner, and that opened up, I believe it was the third inning, and the Red Sox scored three runs, and Martin was pissed. Stanley to Kubek. The grounder to deep short. Petroselli diving stop. Pops up. Throws to Cooper. And one, two, three. Go the Yankees. So Bob Stanley, again, not one of Ron Juckett's favorites, but he's doing his J-O-B at the moment. Bottom of the second, 1-1. One, one. Due up for Boston. Fisk, Malzone, and Petroselli. Pudge batting 375 with a homer and three ribbies. Malzone on deck. Figueroa is ready. Munson sets the target for his counterpart, Fisk. Here's the pitch to Pudge. Line shot to right, and Maris makes the catch. One out. Frank Malzone. Four ribbies, a homer, batting 300. The pitch to Big Frank. Fly ball, shallow center field, mantle racing in two away. It's up to Rico Petroselli to keep the bottom of the second alive. Petroselli, 364. No homers, no ribbies. Cooper in the on-deck circle. Figueroa looks in. He's ready. Munson sets the target. The leg kick and the delivery to Petroselli. Fly ball. Deep left center. White on his horse. Makes the diving catch on the warning track dirt and the side is retired Roy White had to go a long way the ball held up but White makes the Superman diving catch we go to the top of the third 1-1 one, one, here at Fenway best of nine series game seven Yankees lead the series four games to two the Yankees took the first four games the Red Sox took the last two Bob Stanley trying to take it to a game eight He's back up on the bump. Top of the order for New York. Randolph, White, and Mantle. Willie's 0 for 1. The pitch from Stanley Steamer. Randolph swings the stick. Base hit left center field. Lead off single for Willie. Here's Roy White. He's 1 for 1. He doubled to right. The pitch to White. Grounder to Andrews. Andrews pivots, throws to Petroselli. Relay throw to Cooper. Double play. And that's why we have Bob Stanley starting this game. Four, six, three. Just what Bob Stanley wanted it to be. 
Two outs, base is empty for Mickey Mantle. He walked his first time up. The pitch to the Mick. Mantle swings, grounds it to Cooper, and he boots the ball. Brought his glove up a little too fast as he was looking to race towards the bag. The inning stays alive with that E3 on Cooper. And the dangerous Roger Maris steps to the plate. Maris with a homer and four ribbies. Stanley throws over, and Mantle gets back, shortens his lead just a little bit. The pitch to Maris, homeward bound. Line shot to Cooper, and the inning is over. The error doesn't hurt. Nice play by Cooper. Good reaction at first. Bottom of the third. 1-1. One, one. Top of the order for the Red Sox. Cooper, Andrews, and Ted Williams. Cecil Cooper's 0 for 1. Figueroa back up on the hill. He rocks and deals to Cooper. Ground ball to Kubek at short. He's up with it. Over to Shambliss, one down. Now bring up Mike Andrews. He's single. He doubled, actually, in his first at-bat. Ted Williams on deck. Munson goes through the sides. Figueroa nods his head. The pitch to Mikey Andrews. And here's a base hit to right. Mike Andrews is two for two. That brings up Ted Williams. He's 0 for 1. Williams, left-handed stick. A homer and five ribbies, 357. The pitch to Teddy ball game. Fly ball shallow right. Maris racing in. He makes the catch. And quickly scampering back to first is Mike Andrews. So with two outs, now bring up Jim Ed Rice. Rice is one for one. Andrews will be off on contact. Figueroa peaks to first, now in at Munson. The pitch to Rice. And that is trouble. That's going to go to left center field. Andrews holds at second. Really didn't get a good jump on that. <clears throat> two outs, two on for Yastrzemski. Yaz walked his first time up. 1-1 one, one ball game. Andrews at second. Rice at first. The pitch to Yaz from Figueroa. Grounder to Kubek. Kubek flips. No, he goes the long way to first. The side is retired. I thought he was going to flip to Randolph. It looked like he was going to. Then he threw to Shambliss. We're through three here at Fenway, 1-1. One, one. Do it for the Yankees here in game seven. The Yankees lead the series four games to two, best of nine. Jackson, Nettles, and Munson. <clears throat> Jackson is one for one. The pitch to Reginald Martinez Jackson from Stanley Steamer. Chopper up the middle. Andrews towards the bag. And that's out number one. Nice backhanded play by Mike Andrews. Here's Greg Nettles. He's one for one. The pitch to the Yankee third baseman. Left hand batter. And it is gone! Oh boy, that ball just kept carrying. And that line drive is out of here. Short left field. And bye bye birdie. 2-1 Yankees. That ball didn't stay on the ground, that's for sure. Here's the replay of the Nettles homer. Bippity boppity boom. And Greg Nettles gives the Yankees a 2-1 lead. Boom goes the ball, and Nettles touches them all. To the moon, Alice. To the moon. Stanley has to regroup here. He'll face Thurman Munson 0 for 1. The pitch to the Yankee catcher. And that's a base hit to right. Red Sox start some bullpen activity. They have to win to stay in. One out, one on, 2-1 Yankees, thanks to the Nettles homer with one out. Here's Shambliss. Red Sox playing for two. The pitch to Chris Shambliss. Fly ball, center field. Reggie Smith going back in the triangle. Makes the catch. Munson quickly 
retreats the first. Two outs. Stanley not keeping the ball down here. Munson will be off on contact. Tony Kubek's 0 for 1. Another left-handed stick that Stanley has to face. Fisk goes through the sign. Stanley quickly nods his head. He deals to Tony Kubek. And Kubek works a walk. Munson goes to second. Two outs, two on. Willie Randolph, one for two. Two, one, New York. Stanley steps off the mound, rubs up the baseball. Now he's back up on the perch. The pitch to Willie Randolph, Yankees second baseman. Grounder to Malzone. Malzone throws. Cooper stretches. Randolph hustling, and he is out. Nice stretch by Cooper, but the Yankees do take the lead on the Nettles homer. Bottom of the fourth, 2-1 New York. Due up for the Red Sox, they trail by one. Smith, Fisk, and Malzone to face Ed Figueroa. Reggie Smith is 0 for 1. Figueroa looks in at Munson. He has the sign. The leg kick and the delivery. Smith, line shot to right. Maris is there. One out. Now bring up Carlton Fisk. He's 0 for 1. The pitch to Pudge. That's a base hit to center, and it's a hustle double for Fisk. As that ball rolled a little farther away from Mantle, as he tried to cut the angle off, he did stop it from going to the wall, but Fisk was determined to get in the scoring position. So with one out, Fisk's in scoring position for Frank Malzone. Malzone has four ribbies in the series. He's 0 for 1 today. Big Frank looking to tie it. Petroselli on deck. Munson goes through the sides. Figueroa acknowledges. He deals to Malzone. Choppered the third. Nettles charges. And safe! Malzone beats it out. Fisk stays at second. Nettles had trouble getting the ball out of his glove. As I think he was thinking, was Fisk going to advance? But Malzone has a hustle infield hit. Here's Rico Petroselli, 0 for 1. The pitch to Petroselli. Can he get a big hit for the Red Sox? Fly ball, left field. That's carrying, but not enough. White in the corner makes the catch. Fisk tags and moves to third as Roy White's throw goes into the shortstop, Tony Kubek. Two outs, runners on the corners for Boston. They trail by one. New York, two. Boston, one. Fisk at third, Malzone at first, top of the order, Cecil Cooper. Cooper 0 for 2. Figueroa to Cooper. Grounder to Randolph, diving stop! Randolph throws to Kubek, they get the force out, the Red Sox cannot tie it. Let's watch that replay. That looked like it was slated for right field. Randolph on the outfield dirt, makes the diving stop towards his left, pops up and through to Kubek to get the force at second. Instead of pivoting and firing to first, he just threw to Kubek. Probably, a, obviously, a very smart play at work. We're through four, 2-1 New York. Top of the fifth, two up for the Yankees, White, Mantle, and Maris to face Stanley. Roy White, one for two. Stanley's ready to work. He deals to White. Fly ball, shallow center. Reggie Smith races in. He makes the thigh-high grab. One out. Mickey Mantle's 0 for 1. He has walked and reached on error. The pitch to the Mick. Fly ball, right field. Rice racing towards the corner, and he's there. Two away. That's Gray Johnson says, come on, Cooper. Two outs, base is empty for Roger Maris. Maris 0 for 2. Stanley looking for a 1-2-3 inning and keep this game a one-run deficit. The pitch to half of the m, m boys, Roger Maris. Chopper, second, Andrews charges, throws to Cooper, and it is an error on Mike Andrews. Second error for the Boston Red Sox that keeps the inning alive. Cooper could not corral the low throw. 
So Maris at first. He'll be off on contact. Two outs. Reggie Jackson steps to the plate. He's one for two. Jackson has singled in a run. On deck is Nettles, who is homer. The pitch to Reginald Martinez Jackson. Stanley pours it in. And that's outside. Ball four. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Two outs, two on. Nettles, two for two. He's homered and singled. Red Sox cannot lose this game. If they do, they're out. All hands on deck in this best of nine. Yankees lead the series four games to two. Oh, boy. And that's it for Bob Stanley. We're going to go with Tom Bergmeier, the lefty. Stanley's done. Bergmeier was suspended for arguing balls and strikes when he was thrown out of a game. He said the magic word to the man in blue. But he is back. And this is a pressure situation for Bergie. Bergmeier has a word with Fisk after the warm-up tosses. Fisk back behind the plate. Sets a target. The pitch to Nettles. Two outs, two on. And he strikes out Nettles. The Yankees strand two. We go to the bottom of the fifth. 2-1 New York. Andrews, Williams, and Rice will face Ed Figueroa. Andrews is two for two but has an error in the field. Figueroa is ready to work. Pitch inbound to Mike Andrews. And that is a pop-up left side. Kubek going out. Outfield grass. He's calling for it. And Tony makes the catch. One down. Ted Williams is 0 for 2. Can Ted Williams send it out of the park and tie the game? Figueroa to Teddy Ball game. Williams works a walk. So Williams at first. Not much speed. He's the tying run for Jim Ed Rice. It's too early to pinch run for Williams. You want to keep his stick in the lineup against the right-handed pitcher. Rice is two for two. Can Rice go yard and give Boston a three to two lead? If he does, Fenway will explode. Rice awaits the Figueroa offering. Pitch homeward bound. Grounded to Kubek. Randolph and Williams goes in surprisingly hard. And Randolph can't get anything on that throw. So Ted Williams keeps the inning alive, breaking up the double play. The relay throw is a floater to Chambliss. Rice at first with two outs for Yastrzemski, who's now batting 176. The pitch to Yaz. Figueroa pours it in. Yastrzemski sends a fly ball, shallow right. Maris makes the catch. Side retired, top of the sixth. New York 2, Boston 1. Bergmeier still on the bump will face Munson, Shambliss, and Kubek. Bergmeier came in relief with two outs, two on. And he got Nettles out the lefty. Came in relief of Bob Stanley. We're going to go pitch around to Munson. Let's see if he chases. He chases the ball right back up the middle for a single. So Munson at first, no outs. We have two lefties coming up. In Shambliss and Kubek. Shambliss 0 for 2. Bergmeier looks to get the double play ball off the bat of Chris Shambliss. Throws over to first, and Munson gets back. And actually, Munson extends his lead a bit. Bergmeier throws over again, and Munson gets back. Shortens it slightly. Bergmeier peeks to first, now looks in at Fisk. He's ready. Slide step to the plate, and Chris Shambliss. Grounded to Petroselli. Petroselli to Andrews. Andrews to Cooper. Double play. 6-4-3. Just what the Bostonians needed. Two outs. Base is empty for Kubek. He's 0-1 for 1 with a walk. Bergmeier deals to Kubek. That's a base hit to center. Boy, that double play came in handy. And here's Willie Randolph. Again, all hands on deck for Boston. They have to win in this best of nine. They're down four games to two. They need to force a game eight. And I 
think that's going to be it for Tom Bergmeier. All hands on deck. Hmm. We're going to go with Dick Raditz. Oh, they got two switches. They got a bunch of lefties. Actually, no. That's a bad idea. Oh, shoot. Two outs. You know what? We're going to go with Raditz. Dick Raditz, the monster, comes in. Raditz is pitching an inning and a third in this playoff series. His ERA is 6.75. And the pitch to Willie Randolph with two outs and Kubek at first. Base hit to center. Raditz doesn't do his J-O-B. Kubek hits second. And will go to third. As the throw is cut off by Petroselli. Roy White. Raditz will not face Roy White. <sighs> Switch hitter. If we bring in Sparky Lyle, we base we have, when Bill Lee's left out of the pen for a lefty. Here comes Sparky Lyle. Raditz went after one batter and couldn't get him out. Lyle to face Roy White. The pitch to White. One for three. Fly ball left field. Yastrzemski racing towards the corner. He makes the catch. The Yankees strand two. The Red Sox still trail by one. We go to the bottom of the six. 2-1, New York. Do up for the Red Sox, trying to tie or go ahead. Smith, Fisk, Malzone. If anyone gets on the shortstop, Rico Petroselli. Ed Figueroa, so far, five innings, six hits, one run, two walks, no strikeouts. Reggie Smith is 0 for 2. The pitch to Smith. Fly ball right field. Maris towards the line, and it's foul. One ball, two strikes. Reggie Smith steps back in. Fisk on deck. Figueroa nods his head. Munson sets the target. The leg kick and the delivery to Smith. Grounder up the middle. Kubek towards the bag. The shortstop has it. Over to Shambliss. One out. Here's the Red Sox catcher, Carlton Fisk. He's one for two. The pitch to Pudge. Caught Fisk looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on the inside fastball on the one-two count. Two outs. Base is empty for Frank Malzone, who's one for two. The pitch to Big Frank. And that is going to be 66% chance. He's going to try to stretch this into a double. The throw from White, and Malzone is out! Oh, Malzone is thrown out. The side is retired. Malzone tried to get in scoring position with two outs. He'll have a single, and then he is thrown out. Seven. I believe it was Randolph who tagged him out, so that'd be seven to four. Let's watch that replay. That ball has hit the left center. Malzone took a wide turn and kept on going. White not with the strongest arm, and Randolph tags him out. So a good, quick release by Roy White prevents the Red Sox from getting the tying run in scoring position and ends the bottom of the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh, 2-1 New York. Best of nine. Yankees lead the series. Two game. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, four games to two. Due up for New York. Mantle, Maris, and Jackson to face Sparky Lyle. The pitch to the Mick, who's 0 for 2. Swing and a miss. One out. Lyle now deals to Maris, 0 for 3. Maris singles to right. One out, one on. Jackson. Steps to the plate, left-hand batting DH. 
Reggie's one for two. He's driven in six in this series. Nettles on deck. The pitch to Jackson from Sparky Lyle. That ball gets away from Fisk. Maris goes to second. It's now a full count on Jackson. And we'll walk Jackson to set up the double play. Nettles is two for three. Lyle to Nettles. Moment of truth for the Red Sox. Foul ball, right side. 0-2 count. Lyle takes a deep breath. He deals to Nettles. And he walks Nettles. So after an 0-2 count, Nettles works a walk. The bases are juiced with one out. Maris at third, Jackson at second, Nettles at first, and the Red Sox will go to their pen as the right-hand batting catcher, Thurman Munson, comes to the plate. Would they go to Yogi Berra? That's the question. Probably not. Munson's batting 545 with her homer and four ribbies. That's it for Lyle. Only leaving us Bill Lee, who made his way down to the bullpen in between innings, as our only lefty on the pitching staff. Ugh, John Wyatt walks a lot of guys. No matter what game I use, John Wyatt walks a lot of guys. Drago. Got to go with Wyatt, though. Here comes John Wyatt. Oh, boy. So John Wyatt's coming in. First appearance in this series. We're going to play for two. Is he a fly ball pitcher, though? I think he's a fly ball pitcher. Yes, with a plus. So his yeah, the odds of him throwing double play ball are not good. One out. We're going to bring the infield in. Infield in. Wyatt's going to go aggressive to Munson. And he walked him, you piece of crap. Oh, he stinks. I oh, he stinks. Every time I have John Wyatt on the Red Sox, no matter, again, what game. 3-1 Yankees now. Here's Shambliss. The Yankees looking to break it open. Infield in. Here's the pitch to Shambliss. Oh, my God. He walks another one. 4-1. That's it for John White. You stink. Here comes Bill Soup Campbell. Campbell to Kubek, who's one for two. Campbell, go for two. And it's a double play. The Red Sox are out of it, but the Yankees plate two. It's four to one. Good job by Campbell. John Wyatt does not do his J-O-B. He does his S-U-C-K-S. Sucks. Here's the replay of the double play that ended the Yankee uprising. Campbell, I believe, to Petroselli, to Cooper. So that's 1-6-3. But there is no joy here in Fenway as the Red Sox trail by three. Bottom of the seventh. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I ever go back for its root, root, root for the Red Sox. If they lose, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. For Boston, it's Petroselli, then the top of the order. Cooper and Andrews, if anyone gets on, Ted Williams. Figueroa with a three-run lead, trying to protect it. Here's the pitch to Petroselli, 0 for 2. Fly ball, center field, Mantle moving to his right, one out. Cecil Cooper's 0 for 3, the pitch to Coop. Grounder to deep short, Kubik comes up throwing, two outs. Mike Andrews 2 for 3, if he can get on, Ted Williams will come to the plate. The pitch to Mikey. 
pops it up on the infield, middle of the infield, Randolph calling for it, the Yankees second baseman waiting for the ball to come down, out number three, we go to the top of the eighth, 4-1 Yankees, if they win, they will take the best of nine series, 5-2, to two. Randolph is two for four, Campbell to Randolph, and again the Red Sox pitching is horrific, He walks Willie. Roy White could be the MVP of this series. He's batting 370 with two homers and five ribbies. One for four today. The pitch to White. Grounder to Andrews. Andrews only plays to first as Randolph was off on contact. Actually, was off on the pitch, excuse me. So one out, Randolph at second. Mantle at the plate. The pitch from Bill Soup Campbell to Mickey Mantle. Strikes out Mantle. Two outs. Here's Roger Maris. Maris one for four. Campbell with the Scroogey. Line shot foul. Line shot foul. Down the right field line. One ball, two strikes. Fisk sets the target. The pitch to Maris. Grounder to Cooper. Cooper takes it to the bag himself. Side is retired. They play charge here at Fenway. The Yankees four, the Red Sox one. Joining us here at Fenway, our good friend Chris, Table Top Sports Delaware. Check out that wonderful channel. Hope all is well with you and your family, my friend. Williams, Rice, and Yastrzemski to face a very effective Ed Figueroa. He's given up one run on seven hits while walking two and striking out one. Williams is 0 for 2. The pitch to Teddy Ball game. Williams! Air on Shambliss. We'll take it. Williams is at first. Williams will come out of the game. And we're going to run with Joe Foy. Joe Foy will pinch run and stay in. At the moment, to be, to be the DH. 70% chance of stealing. Foy's going to go. Munson throws down. Foy is safe. We took the risk. Stay out of that double play. So Foy steals second. As our tabletop sports Delaware, our good friend Chris is saying, come back, come back. He's got his rally cap on for the Red Sox. We greatly appreciate that. Jim L., hope all is well. How you doing, my friend? Here's Rice, two for three. Foy takes his lead, a short lead off second. Figueroa peeks towards second, looks in at the plate. Picks up the sign for Munson. Pitch homeward bound to Jim Rice. Will he make it? Now? Oh, Rice is hit. Figueroa came a little too high and tight. Tying run comes to the plate. And Yastrzemski, he's been awful. In this series, 167, a homer and one ribby. The Red Sox fans will forget it if Yaz goes yard and ties the game. On deck, Reggie Smith. Figueroa to Yastrzemski. One out, two on. Fly ball. Fly ball deep. It's off the wall. Foy scores. Rice hits third. They're going to wave him with 86% chance of scoring. And he does. The Red Sox pulled it within one. It is four to three. Yastrzemski was Six inches away from tying this game. Tying run at second for Reggie Smith. Let's watch that Yastrzemski double. Booyah. As once again, Action PC Baseball does not put the right photos <laughs> on the replays. Thought it was gone for a second. Six more inches and we had a tie ball game. Mark Jones is here. Jones says Figueroa is getting tired. Warm up the pen. I don't control those guys. I only control my beloved Red Sox. So it's good to see our good friend Chris, Table Top Sports Delaware, Mark Jones, Jim L., Gray Johnson. All right. No outs. Yastrzemski. The tying run. That's second. 
We don't have a decent bunter on this team. I think Burleson can bunt. Check out the Burleson card. Bunt. Sack Bunt. He's a six. Do we want to bring Burleson to drop the Bunt in? As our good friend Chris, Tabletop Sports Delaware, says, I'm bringing the mojo to Fenway. Yes, you are. They play charge here at the friendly confines of Fenway. We're going to go to Fred Lynn. He's due. So here comes Freddie Lynn to pinch hit. He's batting .091, but he is due. He'll stay into play center. Yastrzemski at second, no outs. Figueroa to Lynn. And he walks. Well, at least we got on base. Go ahead, run at first. In Lynn. Tying run at second. In Yastrzemski. Still no outs. And that brings up the Red Sox catcher. Carlton Fisk, one for three. We're going to play unorthodox hit and run. Oh, no. Munson goes out to the mound. Back behind the plate. There go the runners. Fisk makes contact. Ground ball to Kubek. The only place to first will take it. Second and third, one out. Tying run 90 feet away. Lane at second, the go-ahead run. Frank, Frank Malzone, two for three with four ribbies. Will infield has moved in. Can Malzone knock it through the infield? The pitch to Big Frank. Yes, Malzone singles the left center. Lynn hits third and will hold. It is a 4-4 ball game. Send Lynn home. No. So Frank Malzone once again comes through in the clutch. Why the Yankees have stuck with Figueroa this long, I don't know. It's a 4-4 ball game. Rico Petroselli's 0 for 3. Hmm. We're going to bring in Pete Reynolds. Here comes Pete Reynolds. Yankees will pitch to Reynolds. Fly ball. Right field. That's going to score Lynn. Maris in the corner. Tag up, Freddie. Tag up. And the Red Sox have taken the lead 5-4. to four. Pete Reynolds does his J-O-B with the fly ball to deep right in the corner. Malzone retreats the first. Red Sox have played it four runs in the bottom of the eighth. Billy Martin still has not gone to his pen. Cecil Cooper is up to pitch to Coop. Chopper to third. Short, excuse me. Kubek. Will not make the play. Had trouble getting it out of his glove. Cooper is safe with an infield hit. Malzone to second. Mark Jones says, as soon as I tuned in, the Yanks lost it. Gray Johnson said, let's go. We need some insurance runs here. 5-4. Yankees still stick with Figueroa, which is really weird because... The PC managers had a really quick yank in the other games. I'm just curious, is their bullpen tired? It shouldn't be. Gossage, you should have went to Gossage, I would think. I would have went to Gossage. Oh, well. Mike Andrews. The pitch to Mikey, 5-4 ball game. Red Sox take the lead. And Mike Andrews! Malzone hits third, and we will send him 98% chance. And it's 6-4. to four. That is a huge insurance run. Figueroa is tired. 
Here's Joe Foy, who pinch ran at the start of this inning. After Williams walked, he gets an at-bat. The pitch to Foy. Fly ball, Mantle to his right. And the center fielder makes the catch. We go to the top of the ninth. If the Red Sox get three outs, we will force a game eight in this best of nine. Freddie Lynn will stay in to play center. He had a big walk when he pinch hit for Reggie Smith. And Rick Burleson will come in to play short as Pete Reynolds had a sack fly to right that got him a ribby. But the clutch hit was Frank Malzone. Okay, Cecil Cooper will come out of the game and the boomer George Scott will come in to play first and Jim Rice will come out of the game and Dwight Evans will go in to play right I don't think we have a better second baseman actually Mantilla has a slightly higher um, fielding percentage Andrews has already made one error the odds of him making two I agree with Mark Jones. The Yankees should have yanked uh, Easy Ed. I would have. And it's strange because the PC manager has been doing a pretty good job with that. So Campbell, we're going to keep Campbell in. He's tough on lefties. Red Sox have a two-run lead. Jackson one for two. The pitch from Soup to Reggie. Oh, God damn it. Here's a walk. Unbelievable. Tying run comes to the plate and Greg Nettles. Nettles has already homered today. Our good friend Tabletop Sports Delaware. Our good friend Chris says, I had the first basement with a George Scott on it. The pitch to Nettles, two for three. And he strikes out Nettles. So Campbell comes back after walking Jackson to strike out Nettles. And now we have Munson up. We have no more lefties except for Bill Lee. Who would pitch fatigued out of the pen because he started two games. And they have Shambliss and Kubek. Munson represents the tying run. He's batting 545, a homer, and five ribbies. Ground ball, double play, ends this game. Burleson's an eight range at short, I forgot to tell you. Freddie Lynn in center, six range, seven arm. And Evans in right is outstanding, nine range, nine arm. Campbell to Munson. We stick with Soup. And he walks Munson. God damn it. Jackson to second. Munson, the tying run to first. Go-ahead run. Shambliss at the plate. Campbell is tired. We stick with Campbell. Right. Fisk goes out to the mound. Make sure they're on the same page. Shambliss fly ball. Evans will make this catch in row. Please make the catch. Oh my god! Evans cannot make the catch. It's over his glove. Ground rule double. It's six to five. Unbelievable. Munson the tying run at third. Shambliss the go-ahead run at second. Unfreaking believable. Here's the replay of that agony. Unfreaking believable. The pitching has been horrible for the Red Sox in this series. As that ball bounced off the warning track and in to the stand probably saving us a run, but oh my god. That's it for Campbell. Unfreaking believable. If you've watched this series, the pitching has been horrific. <laughs> we have Dick Drago and every other pitcher.
Bill Lee can pitch in relief. He's not horrible. He's a ground ball pitcher. Here comes the spaceman. Just try to get this lefty out. Tony Kubek. So Bill Lee's done with his warm-up tosses. Lee is one for one in this series. Infield moves in. Lee to Kubek. Ah, oh, here comes Bucky Dent. You son of a bitch. Uh, we're going to walk Bucky Dent. We load the bases. That's it for Bill Lee. Oh my god, we're so screwed. We need a strikeout. Eckers lead is not pitch and relief. No, he'll be awful. Tiant. But he walks people. Tiant can pitch and relief. He's not bad. He has a plus and a plus at closer. He's a fly ball pitcher. Drago's a fly ball pitcher. Unbelievable. Our pitching staff sucks. Thirty-two walks. Oh my god. I think we're gonna go to El Tiante. Here comes Louis Tiant. I think we're going with Tiant. Louis Tiant trying to maintain this win. Red Sox, five runs in the bottom of the eighth, and they're trying to hold on for dear life. The Yankees have got one in the top of the ninth. Munson at third, Shambliss at second, Dent at first. Randolph at the plate, two for four. Here's the pitch from El Tiante. And here comes Bobby freaking Mercer. Now we're really hosed. We're going to play for two. The pitch to Mercer. Pops him up. Infield fly. That's out number two. Andrews converging near the bag at second. Makes the catch. The Red Sox are one out away. Oh, boy. Tiant got him with the scroogey. Was it the Scroogey or the Knuckle Curve? I don't know. Here's Roy White, who has been a thorn in the Red Sox side. His averages dropped, though, to 357. Two homers and five ribbies. Tiant catches his breath. He's off the mound, rubs up the baseball. Little Louie back up on the mound. Hands over his head. Corkscrew delivery to Roy White. Grounder to Andrews. Don't. This game's over. The Red Sox hold on for dear life. And we force a game eight. Boston wins. Six to five. Louis Tiant gets the save. Unbelievable. As we almost blew that game. So after the Yankees win the first four, we take the next three. Our pitching sucks. <laughs> wow. Tiant was huge out of the pen. He gets the final two outs. A pop-up for an infield fly and a ground out to the second baseman, Mike Andrews. Soup Campbell gets the win. Figueroa got the loss. They're going to question Billy Martin. Why they stuck with Figueroa so long. The winning ribby 
is Mike Andrews because he singled in Malzone. That made it 6-4. to four. Yankees got one in the top of the ninth, 6-5. to five. Campbell, the win, two innings out of the pen. Louis Tiant picks up the save. He gets the final two outs of the game. Figueroa takes the loss. And again, why did they stick with Figueroa for so long? Gray Johnson says, firing up dirty water as we speak. Good man, Greg. Gray, excuse me, Gray. All right, wow, what a game. We force a game eight. Figueroa, again, why are they stuck so long with Figueroa? I don't know. Eight innings, 11 hits, six runs. Only three of them were earned, though. I mean, he did not pitch that horrific. Three walks, one strikeout. He takes the loss. He had no decision in his first appearance in the series. Bob Stanley went four and two-thirds innings, six hits, two runs. We yanked him quite quickly as we felt trouble was a brewing. He gave up a homer, walked three, struck out none. Bergmeier went in inning, two hits, no runs, no walks, a strikeout. Raditz walked Actually gave up a hit to the one batter he faced. We yanked him for Sparky Lyle. He went two-thirds of an inning. One hit, two runs. They were both earned. He walked two, struck out one. John White walked in two runs. He sucks. He won't be seen in this series anymore. Every game I have, and John Wyatt's on the Red Sox team, he is awful. Campbell got the win. Two innings out of the pen. One hit, one run. It was earned. Walked three, struck out two. Bill Lee... Uh, they brought in Bucky Dent, so we intentionally walked Dent. Tiant came in, got the final two outs with the bases loaded in the bottom of the ninth. And the Red Sox survived to play Game 7 in this best of nine. The series now favors the Yankees only by one, four games to three. Let's quickly go to the batting, then we'll call it a stream. What a fun game, and thank you for Tabletop Sports Delaware for showing up. Our good friend Chris brought the mojo to the Red Sox. Yankees, Randolph 2 for 4 with a walk, now batting 231. Mercer, the pinch hitter, 0 for 1, batting 400. Roy White, 1 for 6 with a run scored and a double, 345. Mickey Mantle, 0 for 4 with a walk and 2Ks, 318. Roger Maris, 1 for 5 with a run scored, 348. Reggie Jackson, 1 for 2, 2 runs scored, a ribby and 3 walks, 273. Nettles, 2 for 4, a run scored, a ribby. A walk, two strikeouts, and a homer, 316 batting average. Thurman Munson batting 545, two for three, a ribby, and two walks for the Yankee catcher. Chambliss, one for four, with two ribbies, a walk, and a strikeout, now batting 249. Kubek, one for three, with a walk, now batting 353. Bucky Dent was intentionally walked. Bucky Bleeping Dent is batting 444. The Yankees. In defeat, 36 at-bats, 5 runs, 11 hits, 5 ribbies, 11 walks, 4 Ks, 2 doubles, and a homer. For the Red Sox, who needed this win, or it was over, Cooper was 1 for 5, now batting 375. Scott came in to play defense. He's batting 400. Andrews, 3 for 5, 1 run, 1 ribby, a double, batting 385. Ted Williams, 0 for 3 with a walk, and that walk was huge because it produced a run later on. He's batting 313. Joe Foy pinch ran and scored and was 0 for 1 when he came back around to bat. Evans came in to play defense in the ninth, did not hit. He's only batting 200. Yastrzemski had a big clutch hit, knocking in two, with a double that just missed a three-run homer. He was 1 for 3 with a run scored, two ribbies, a walk, and a double. He's now batting 211. Reggie Smith over three, batting 190. Fred Lynn um, walked. He pinched hit for Smith and scored. He's batting .091. Uh, Fisk one for four with a strikeout and a double, batting 357. Malzone three for four. He had a clutch hit, tied the game. He had a run in a ribby, 375 for Big Frank at third. Petroselli 0 for 3, now batting 286. Pete Reynolds, a pinch hitter, had a sack fly that gave the Red Sox the lead. Uh, it gave him a ribby, and he's now batting 111. 
Rick Burleson came into play short. He did not bat. He's batting 167. The Red Sox in a huge victory. They win. They stay in. They force a game seven in the best of nine. 34 at bat, six runs, one more than the Yankees. 11 hits, six ribbies, three walks, one K, three doubles. Oof. So there you have it. The Red Sox win game seven. Uh, game six, excuse me. No, game seven. Game seven. Uh, six to five. It's now four three. The Yankees lead the series. Here. So the Yankees took the first four games, 6-3, 8-1. Red Sox blew game three. Uh, Yankees won 12-9. Then the Yankees won 6-3. We went back to New York. The Yankees had two games in New York. They needed to win one for the series. We win 10-6, 9-5, and back to Fenway. We hold on to win 6-5. see who they might oh that's the wrong thing let's go to playoffs and again this is a fan created league from players between 1960 to 1979 uh, playoff game Yankees still lead the series 4-3 with two to play Red Sox have to win two in a row which would make five in a row and what a comeback that would be Let's just hit play. We're not going to play. I'm just curious who the Yankees will throw at us. They're going to go with Ralph Terry. I think we're going to go with either Ray Colt or Sonny Siebert. Eckersley and Mambo Cat have not been good. Mambo Cat. Um, his ERA is nine. <laughs> Unbelievable. And Eckersley is even worse. Eckers, actually, it's a little better. 6.75. I think we're going to go with either Ray Culp or Sonny Siebert. Culp is a standard pitcher, so equal ground balls and fly balls. Sonny Siebert's a fly ball pitcher. No, he's a standard pitcher, too. Lonborg had our best start. We took a shutout with him in the prior game into the ninth, and he fell apart. But he's not ready to go. He'd probably go in game nine if he's available to go in game nine. He's a fly ball pitcher, too. I don't like fly ball pitchers in Fenway. And Tiant can't go because he just saved the game. I don't know. I think we're going to go... Sonny Siebert was a strikeout pitcher. 132 Ks. Ray Culp, 173 Ks. Probably go with Ray Culp. Probably go with Ray Culp. Well, there you have it. And let's quit that. We don't want to play this game now. Red Sox win 6-5. Fans at Fenway say bring on Game 8. Red Sox hope to tie the series and force a Game 9. I'd like to thank Gray Johnson, Tabletop Sports Delaware, our good friend Chris. Check out that wonderful channel. Mark Jones, thank you very much. Uh, Jim L., thank you very much. And for those who watched and did, and did not jump in the chat, and those who will watch later, thank you again. If you enjoyed the stream, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed and you want to, please do so. If you do subscribe, hit the bell for notification when we go live. I greatly appreciate your time. Tr treat people the way you want to be treated. Stay safe. Be smart. We'll see you again very soon. God bless. I love you all. You know what's coming, folks. The Red Sox hold on to win 6-5, to five, so Game 8 is coming in this best of 9 again.